In this lesson of expository writing, we are going to focus on the next stage, which is planning. A great planning stage will make the rest of this essay really easy to write. So you want to make sure you spend a lot of time planning because it's going to make everything much easier if you have a good planning stage completed. So let's take a look at what the planning stage looks like. This is the template for the planning stage. For this lesson's purposes, though, we are going to ignore the introduction section as well as the conclusion section. So what I really want us to focus on today is the section in the middle that is main idea number one, main idea number two, and main idea number three, as well as those details. Now here are the prompts that you may remember from the first video. The prompt will tell us what the main ideas will be. So if you are writing about a sport, the prompt says to write a five paragraph essay explaining the equipment or clothing, the rules or styles of the sport, and the playing field or space. This will become our main ideas. On the planning page, my main idea number one is the equipment or clothing. Now, it's kind of tough for me to write on this iPad, but you will, of course, have very nice writing, I'm sure. My main idea number two from the prompt was the rules. Let's pretend that I'm going to write about lacrosse. So my main idea number two would be rules of lacrosse. And main idea number three is the, the playing field or space. Then what I would do now that I have my main ideas is I want to fill in the details and the details I could find if I went back to my brainstorm list that I made after the first video, that'll have a lot of the details and I want to fill that in. So under equipment or clothing, I could add a lacrosse stick and we need a ball. And we need nets for the goalies. Now, I don't have any more bullets, so over on this side, I'll just make some more bullets, and that's fine. We also need a helmet and safety goggles. You'll notice that I am writing just jot notes. I'm not putting in sentences because this is just the planning page. This is where I'm putting my ideas into... Uh, an order that I want to write about, but I don't have to use sentences yet. And now I would add some details about the rules of lacrosse. And I might need more, so I make a few more bullet points, blah, blah, blah. And the playing field and what that might be like, how big it is, how many people are on it at a time, what kind of surface it is, is it grass or is it a court or something. Excellent. So now I have my main ideas and my details. And now that I've worked really hard on making a really good planning page, the rest of this expository essay is going to be a piece of cake. Now, if you were going to write about an animal, you would look at the prompt and you would see that it says, write a five paragraph essay explaining what the animal looks like, what it eats, and where it lives if it's a wild animal, or how you care for it if it's a pet. And these three ideas are the main ideas. And they become the main ideas on my planning page, and then I fill in the details that help explain the main ideas and those details would come from your brainstorm list. So that's the planning stage of expository writing. Make sure to take some time to really try and put as much 
information as you can into the planning stage because once your planning stage is done and if you've done it correctly and you've put a lot of effort into it the rest of this expository essay will be simple as pie